Hey guys, welcome back to Rich Tech. and in this episode I have another unboxing to do. Um, so stay tuned and let's get to it. 360 degrees, you're already on. I can't edit you, so let's get going. Alright, so <laughs> you could see this video both on 360 as well as on flat. Flat 360, you could see it on 360 and vice versa, okay? Um, so guys, I'm kind of pretty excited actually to unbox this thing 360 you could already dodge you could already look down and you could probably see the product um the product is this guy it's it's more than a pong in weight and it's a i hope i pronounce it correctly it's a hair mini pc and um there's not much uh documentation about this guy on the internet unfortunately but i actually needed a mini pc i needed a pc that i want to leave on day and night running and i thought that having my main pc up and running would use too much current because it uses a lot of current 200 watts or whatever more than that i think um, up to 500 watts right depending on what peripherals i use so anyway so back to this thing so this is a small pc um by a brand as i said here or i don't know if you pronounce it higher h-a-i-e-r and it says um inspired living at the front of the box and um, it's, it, the model is HRV03P and it says support Windows 10, which is nice because I, I really do like Windows 10 compared to all the other Windows in terms of, in terms of performance. I, don't, I still don't like Windows updates that keep rebooting the systems and so forth. But anyways, and inside this, it says, so on the front of the box, it says mini PC, Intel, <clears throat> it has some sort of play sign. I don't know what that play sign means. Um, has the Windows 10 logo. It has DDR3L. Now, I don't know anything about DDR3L. I, I don't know if that is a normal laptop RAM Dell uh, laptop RAM uh, memory that they're talking about. Um, so, pro pro probably it is and hopefully it might be upgradable because it comes, I think, well, we'll get to that to the stats in a few seconds and has HDMI. So, HDMI output, all right? Um, the, to the side of the PC, uh, the box itself, it says, Higher Information Technology Shenzhen uh, Co limited so when i actually did a google up on this thing the the I, I i saw the brand making fridges and stuff it wasn't really mini pcs but nevertheless um i needed a pc all right on the back it gives you more stats it says the model which i just said the os windows 10 it says the processor is an intel Batrial cr 7 so 3735F cores 4, threads 4, cache 2 megs, and processor based frequency of 1.33, burst frequency of 1.83. Sounds pretty good. I actually did actually do a Google on the Batrial T, and it was <laughs> the benchmarks was really, really low. It was less than a thousand. <laughs> <clears throat> Unfortunately, I do need this thing so bad that I decided I'd buy it because uh, it's just going to be do it's going to be doing one thing basically, which is running a Java server, and um, hopefully it will do a fairly alright job. Um, <clears throat> there's no way to see. Oh, great one! Now do your messages now. Um, it comes with one display port, four USB, 2.0 ports, which is good. I don't need 3.0 at this point. A RJ45 jack. High definition media, <coughs> a 3.5 millimeter jack, a 3.5 millimeter mic separate to that. Okay, a micro TF, a micro TF to put in, which is nice. I think that's cool. Um, a DC jack, right? 5 volts, 3 amps. It comes with Wi Fi as well, which is good. And <coughs> I think it actually said it, it comes with an IR port, but I'm not seeing it on the box. So, alright, guys, so let's, let's get going, right? So, Let's open this thing up and see what happens. Hopefully, you can see it there. 360, you just have to scroll down. Okay, very good, yeah. So, where do I begin? Okay, so let's open it from here because I'm seeing the higher part here. Or maybe we could just get rid of the plastics first. Let's get rid of the plastics. So the first plastic part is out and it still has a seal here so we need to open the seal. Of course we have our 
trusty Swiss Army knife. And I tried to open these seals as neat as possible. Not sure if it's an OCD thing or not, but um, hopefully it will open properly. Nice, yeah, so it's open there. Oh, it looks like there's another seal on this side as well. It's not the sharpest knife, but does the job. All right, so <laughs> I have to say it was pretty, it felt pretty dense, pretty heavy. Takes a little while to slide out. Air pressure, you know what it is. It says 32 gigabytes, so I think it has 32 gigabytes on it. And wow, okay, so we have this <clears throat> interesting, interesting little booklet here that is in a different language. Both in a different language, unfortunately, and there's no English on this thing. So this thing might be whatever. Hmm. All right, and here is this little thing. So it is. Wow, okay, so. It, it, this part is light, the, the actual main PC part. Well, it's nice, it's nicely packaged, I have to say. And let's have a look at what's here. All right, so you could actually see the box here. And um, so there's the HDMI port. I think this is display RJ45. Two USB on one side. Looks like there's like some heat space here. Uh, two more USBs, an infrared sensor it seems to be, infrared sensor here, mic and audio and that, um, and the, trend, the the TF card reader and the power button at the top. Nice little, nice little design I think I, I would say. Um, it does have an FCC ID on it as well which is good and ROHS as well. All right, nice, good. And has the patterns at the underneath to kind of keep it off the ground. Two heat areas at the front and the back. We'll have to see how it uh, in a follow-up video how well it does in heat. So right, let's continue by on. Um, there's something else that is heavy inside there, and I want to get to that because I, I, I have no idea what could be that heavy, unless it came with different stuff. So let's open up here again more. Food up. <coughs> okay, so it did come with an HDMI cable. That's nice. Um, I got this on a sort of a deal because it's actually, um, it was actually $590 TT, which is like $88. It, it was $700 initially and probably something higher than that before. I don't know if they weren't selling or whatever. And I think probably, yeah, for anything more than that, I wouldn't pay for this. But I was thinking this might be better because this could run a full-fledged Windows 10. Um, instead of buying a Raspberry Pi for about half the price, so a little bit, yeah, about half the price after shipping and handling and so forth. Um, so it's good that it came with an HDMI cable as well. Um, <clears throat> the adapter, of course. Normal, I guess it's a normal adapter, 5 volts with a special, specially thin um, plug. And what else is here? There's like some screws. And what seems to be, oh, okay, so there's a converter as well. They give you a converter from HDMI to, to VGA, which is really nice. This is something you would really, really need, HDMI to, uh, yeah, that, that, that was one of my concerns, because now um, that I know that I have this, I can actually use this on my old KVM that has VGA on it, so that's really good. And it came with this mount, so it's it looks like it was designed for people, perhaps something that you know advertising or to be able to play back videos or something like that. So it's a nice mount. This is an interesting <clears throat> thing that you could probably mount to the wall. I'm guessing how do we put it? I'm guessing you would put it like something like this. I don't really want to scratch it, so I won't push it in, but it is a sort of tight fit, so I'm not going to push it in further. But yeah, that's how it would mount, and then you would just pop it on accordingly. Very nice, very, very nice. So we'll probably leave the mount back in here <clears throat> for the time being. That is what was the heavy part. I was wondering what, what on earth could be so heavy. It's the mount. Alright, so... Guys, that's pretty much it, I guess, at this point in time. And when I go and set it up, I'll let you guys 
know a little bit further um, about you know how it performs and so forth. So thanks again for watching. Um, please subscribe. Please like. Um, this stuff costs money, and um, you know I would appreciate if you would like it and subscribe, and so that you can see some more of this stuff because I do invest a lot into the videos these days. And um, thanks again for viewing. Make sure to subscribe and click that alarm icon. Without clicking the alarm, alarm icon is basically like not subscribing. So. Um, Please do that and thank you so again for watching and see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.